So last week I released a video which collated all the clues that we have so far for the Find the Doctor mystery and the response to that has been pretty overwhelming so I just want to thank you all for watching, liking, commenting. Thank you! But since then there's been some more stuff discovered which relates to the clues which is all really interesting so this is going to be an update video going over all the information we've had in the past week. And as a bonus I'm also going to be going through some of the theories that people who watched my previous video had because some of them are really interesting and I think they have a lot of potential. So if you remember there was a painting discovered in the gallery in Liverpool which was of a rural British countryside and also featured a picture of the TARDIS as well as a very anachronistic rocket in the background. So since then it's been discovered that the rocket in the background is actually known as the Black Arrow and was developed in the 1960s and did a few flights between then and a few in the 70s as well. Interestingly the Black Arrow currently sits in the Science Museum in London. And that's significant because there was also a clue in the Science Museum. So I'm guessing the significance of the rocket was to point us in the direction of the Science Museum, with the name of the rocket also being the Black Arrow. It makes sense that it's an arrow pointing towards another place, so I think that's probably what the significance of that was. Of course we don't know that for certain, it could be complete coincidence, but I mean it makes sense. So speaking of the Science Museum, I don't know if you remember, but there was a clue in the Science Museum with the website saying that the sonic screwdriver was on display there in the upper level of the shop. So last week when I was in London I thought I'd take a look, so I went to the shop of the Science Museum, went up on top to the top level, and wouldn't you know it, the sonic screwdriver was just there. It was an actual prop from the show, it looked really good, the display cabinet did it justice. Looked at the description, I was curious if anyone had missed anything, but no. Basically, it's literally just the sonic screwdriver in the display cabinet and then the message that we knew was there. But it was really interesting to see it in real life, you could really see all the details on the prop, but there was nothing that would distinguish it from any other sonic props, nothing really in the way of clues there, apart from what we'd already found. And if you cast your minds back, what we'd already found is a trend started to develop in descriptions of things, in images, there seem to be out of place letters, so sometimes there'd just be a random capitalised letter in a sentence where it didn't belong, sometimes there was a letter in a sequence which was a different colour to distinguish it, and we collated all of those letters, so those letters seem to be making up some sort of code or anagram or some sort of other clue. And those were the theories I was getting, lots of people saying that this probably, once you've collated all the letters and numbers, they form an anagram of something or other, and that creates the password, and then you put that in, and it takes you to whatever it is hidden on that page. And that's what most people were saying, and I think that is probably still the most likely solution, however I think a lack of vowels so far might kind of put that one to rest. Lots of people saying also that you have to wait for all the clues before you'll be able to crack the code, and again, I think that's probably right as well. I also saw someone saying something which was quite interesting. Someone suggested that the letters could relate to the villains in the series, with D standing for Daleks, C standing for Cybermen, and I, I really like that as a theory. It could be right, but I'm not sure what the other letters would stand for. So far, the letters we have are D, C, E, Y, V, and G, as well as also 5, which could be interpreted as an S as well. However, due to the numbers and lack of vowels, although the anagram theory seems the most likely, I'm not 100% certain that's what it will be. In fact, I'm more leaning towards one of the most interesting theories I received, was someone suggesting that actually these letters and numbers make up a hidden YouTube video link. So to elaborate further on that, if you click on a YouTube video, in the search bar at the top of the screen it will give you the link to the page, and that will usually go something along the lines of www.youtube.com slash, and then there'd be a series of about 9, 10, maybe 11 random letters and numbers, just in a random sequence, and that makes up the unique ID tag of the video. And so far, all the clues that we've discovered for the Find the Doctor mystery, those being the letters and the one number, don't really seem to make much sense and just seem to be a random assortment of letters and numbers. But they could very easily fit in to a YouTube video link. Now, the first proper clue we got was the voice message from Yaz to the Doctor, which was an unlisted YouTube video, a hidden YouTube video that you can only access 
by having a link to. So if this is indeed a YouTube video link, then the video is just hidden and you need the link to be able to access it. But what would be even more interesting is obviously we're looking for a password, so a YouTube video link doesn't make up the password. What I'm guessing would happen is if this is indeed correct, you put in the YouTube video link, it takes you to a video which then reveals the password for you. You can then put that in on the website and that leads to whatever the website leads to. I know this is a bit of a stretch, but I actually think this theory is the one that has the most potential. It's just the hard thing is knowing which order we were meant to find the things in, and I'm guessing that will make up the order of the YouTube link. Okay, so after finishing recording there have been a few more things to go, so I'm going to very quickly go over them. So with the Science Museum Sonic Screwdriver, in the description it lists it as mysterious unknown object, and then a bunch of letters and numbers. Those were actually an anagram that said the 2nd of September Doctor Who email. It's been announced that on the 2nd of September Jodie Whittaker's doing an interview for some radio, so maybe there'd be a clue there. Also on the 2nd of September the Doctor Who annual comes out, so there might also be a clue there. And on the 2nd of September also the Doctor Who Atlas book comes out, so again there might be a clue there, so keep your eye out for those. But I want to know what you think, do you have any more theories about this? What do you think letters mean? Are we on completely the wrong track? I really like the YouTube video link idea, if you couldn't tell already. But in the meantime, I've been Cyberman Alpha, remember to like and subscribe, but for me for now, it's goodbye.